So this will be the install video of the Picatinny side mount Type 81. First off, safety check. Check your guns unloaded. Put it on safe if it's not already. And remove top cover. Remove spring. And then bolt and carrier. Okay. Put your safety to fire and release the pressure on the hammer. Controlling the hammer. Okay, first step is remove the safety. So push down on the spring tab and remove from the left side. Set that aside. I'm not going to use that again. Then there is a plum colored spring plate that we need to remove and to do that we pull up, the back comes out first and the front. And you'll notice these two grooves, uh, they may have burrs so with your trusty deburring tool you may want to just uh, touch the edges on each side to get any burrs off and also while you're at it you should probably do this hole for the safety. Okay, keep that, we're going to need that later. So in your box, you're going to have your reel, your adapter, your new right side safety and two pins. Okay, you'll have a large pin and a small pin. Large pin is the hammer pin. So we're going to, first we're going to take the hammer pin and from the left side of the receiver we're going to take the non-threaded end and push the pin through. So a little bit of pressure on the hammer, just control it, push it through and you'll notice a groove on the pin, that groove needs to be on the inside of the receiver when you're done. So push through, a little bit of wiggle and make sure it looks like so. Okay, so we're going to set that pin aside, we don't need that anymore. So the smaller pin is the trigger pin. We're going to do just what we did with the hammer pin, left side of the receiver, a little bit of pressure down on the trigger and we're going to push with the non-threaded end. And we're going to push the original pin through the receiver. Okay, so you, you may have some issues with tightness. If you do, a little bit of sandpaper, uh, you can run the pin in a cordless drill, something like that, just lightly sand the pin until it fits just by pushing it with your hand. If you have to hammer it, that's too much. So again, pushing the pin through until the groove is on the inside of the receiver. Okay, we'll just reposition the trigger a little bit, push it through. So we don't want to go too far through, but we do want that groove to be on the inside. Something like that. Okay, so now the pins are in, and we're going to take our D-Bird spring plate and we're going to install the front first. What we need to do, you may need a small screwdriver to pull that spring just back, just so you can see in there to make sure the groove is showing inside the receiver because the groove is going to line up with this. So. back and forth wiggle it will find the groove just like that so make sure the front is seated all the way that you can push it down before you push the back one down so again the back one needs to fit in that groove take your little mini screwdriver and pull the spring back so you can see you should be able to see the groove okay and then this should just sit down into the groove. Okay, pushing all the way down. So to check that you've got it all the way uh, installed in the receiver, just take a look through the hole for the safety and the hole shouldn't be blocked by the spring plate. If it's sitting up at all, just make sure there's no burrs on it, wiggle back and forth until it pops down all the way. Okay, so next you're gonna take your Right side safety and install from the right side. Push down on the spring plate tab that retains it and install. Do a quick run back and forward. Again, if you've deburred it correctly, it shouldn't bind. Yep, feels good. Okay, so 
you can do a quick function check here if you like. Okay, so cock the hammer, safety on or off. You're gonna reinstall your bolt and carrier. Okay, now we can do a full um, function check. Just make sure it's st still not loaded. Hold the trigger, run the bolt. Does it reset? Yes, it resets. Okay, does the safety still work? Yes, it does. Okay, so we're actually gonna leave the safety on this time. Now, next step, you're gonna install the adapter. So you will need 2.5 millimeter Hex, uh, hex bit on a some kind of uh, inch pine torque wrench, and we're going to torque it to 40 inch pines. So we're going to place it on the receiver, lining up the two front holes. I like to start at the front, but you can start at the back if you like. So we're going to give it a few turns just to get it started, and then we're going to switch to the other screw. We don't want to bind it, strip the threads. So back and forth, you're working back and forth. A few turns each, move to the other screw, a few turns then back. We're just gonna work that until we get it flush. Now we've got a hand tight. Now make sure your torque wrench is set to 40 inch points. And you're gonna go back and forward. I'm gonna torque them to 40 inch points. I like to do it in a couple of different steps just to make sure we're not binding anything. Okay, that's that one all the way. And that one. All right, so now, Double check it's unloaded. Check your safety still operates. If it is binding a little bit, you may wanna just check that your plate is still seated all the way. This one's a little stiff, but it still works. Okay. Still reset. Safety still works, yes. Okay, I right, finally, to install your Picatinny reel. It's got a little tab on the back here, a little latch. Push the latch to unlock it. There's a screw here that sets the uh, distance of travel and the tension. So goes on from the rear. Set it up. Just gonna turn it on its side. And you wanna get it to lock. Okay, that's a little bit too loose. So we're gonna take it off. And we're gonna turn this screw clockwise, a couple of turns, just to tighten it up. Perfect. Okay, that concludes your installation.